Hey gamers, Dawn here from Need to Know Gaming, and today I'm going to be reviewing Cozy Grove by the Quantum Astrophysicists Guild. I've been playing for a little over a month at this point, and I thought I'd share my honest opinions. Cozy Grove is a simulation game in the same vein as Animal Crossing, in which you are a spirit scout stranded on an island. Your objective is to help the spirits on that island who happen to be in the form of adorable bears, and somehow find your way home. It costs $14.99 USD or your original equivalent, and it's available on the Nintendo Switch, PS4 where I'm reviewing it, as well as PC. The gameplay loop is as follows. You help the bears, get spirit wood in exchange for your good deeds, feed it to flame your campfire, therefore extending his range and increasing the size of the island, meet new bears, rinse, wash, and repeat. On the interim, you'll do fun things like change your outfit, go fishing, craft items, and cook dishes. One of my top favorite things about Cozy Grove is its appearance. It's hand-drawn, it's very cute, and it kind of looks as if the um, survival indie game Don't Starve was set in a much kinder, friendlier world. And perhaps more important than that is the fact that the developer, Quantum Astrophysicist Guild, is very responsive to feedback. A lot of the issues that I found a month ago have been rectified in patches, such as the ability to craft multiple items. Previously, you would have to go into the crafting menu, select an item, craft it, get thrown out of the crafting menu, and start anew. So it was a tedious and time-consuming process. Now you can actually select the item, hit craft multiple, select how many you want, and bam, you're done. Of course, if you want to craft multiple types of items, not just a single one, you still have to go back into the crafting menu, but I'll chalk that up as a win. Now, if you were looking at the storefront and you saw, oh, crafting, and you got excited, curb your enthusiasm a little bit. Um, crafting in this game is pretty simple. You just have to have the materials, and you don't even do it yourself. You hand it to the corresponding bear. There's a maker bear who will craft everything except food, and then there's Allison. She's the baker and she will craft all of your food. The difference between the two being that when you craft food, you hand over your ingredients and an hour later the game spits out your item via the mail system. It's not the best way to do a crafting system if you ask me, but eh, I've seen worse. Unfortunately, patches haven't been able to fix two of my largest issues. The first being the extremely long load time before you even get to start your Cozy Grove adventure. Now, um, when I had played for the first time 30 days ago, I thought to myself, okay, well, this is the game for starting up, it's loading all this information, I'll give it a pass. But every time after, it has been just a slog to even start the game. I actually timed it. And from the moment you leave the main menu, hit continue to start your save file, to the moment you actually gain control of your character takes 9 minutes and 7 seconds. That is crazy in this modern day and age. Like, I can go and take a shower and come back and still have Cozy Grove loading. Unfortunately, I don't think this issue is even fixable as it seems to be a consequence of the software used for development. Now, my second thing on list of things that I dislike about Cozy Grove is the actual aiming system, or rather the game's ability to recognize that you're trying to interact with an object. When the bears move into Cozy Grove, they bring with them a slew of personal objects, which means that when you are placing your own things, which happen to be trees, bushes, birds, and deer, all of which can be harvested for materials, you have to kind of pack things in together and they're very close. Now, if you have any number of objects within an area, sometimes Cozy Grove will get very creative with what it wants to select. Sometimes it doesn't want to select an item at all. Um, there have been times when I have set up birds in my camp and rather than going to the birds, Cozy Grove has made me cross the screen to go talk to Flamey instead. To combat that issue, the developers added in the ability to select next, which means if you have an item highlighted and you hit triangle, it'll presumably move to the next item within your range. Unfortunately, sometimes select next also ignores the existence of 
items that for whatever reason Cozy Grove does not recognize. So you'll end up cycling endlessly through objects that you didn't want in the first place and still being unable to select the things that you actually want to interact with. Also of note are the random-ish lag spikes that occur whenever the uh, autosave feature happens to kick in. Um, these aren't game-breaking by any means, but they do freeze your character up for two to three seconds and it happens pretty frequently, so just something to note. The final thing on my rather short list of things I don't like about Cozy Grove is actually the way that content is distributed. Now, the game promises a 40-hour campaign over the course of days, however many days you can't know because it highly depends on your own attendance as well as the luck of RN Jesus and what quests you get from the bear on any particular day. Some days the bears will give you fetch quests, just plain ass fetch quests. They will ask you, go here, get this, bring it back to me. Done. Other days you'll actually get story bits and they're really worth reading because the bears are likable characters. As a result, Cozy Grove kind of feels like a free-to-play game at times. You know, you log in, you do the daily missions, but you don't quite feel like doing the main story because it's turned into a schlog of just fetch quests. This might be a moot point to some, but for those who are gamers like me, who don't stick to free-to-play games for long because of this very reason, you might want to keep that in mind. Of course, you're not pressured in any way to play every day. Cozy Grove will keep your running counter from the day you stop to the day you finally get back into it. I've found that taking breaks helps, but that's just me. All that aside, when you're enjoying Cozy Grove, you're enjoying Cozy Grove. There's lots to do, whether you're fishing, digging holes, rooting around in piles of leaves, or taking care of your various animals. And a lot of thought was put into the system wherein placing an object near things it likes will actually raise its affinity. And of course, the happier your animals or plants are, the more they'll produce. There's also a collection to complete if you're into that sort of thing. So visiting daily means you can get the different plants that you'll need to add to it, and visiting at least monthly means you'll be able to fish up new fish and find new seashells. And no matter what you're doing, Cozy Grove keeps it cozy with some peaceful background music. If you're the sort of person who has spent countless hours in Animal Crossing, Cozy Grove is going to be a good game for you. It really thrives when it's in the hands of people who enjoy setting their own schedules and following their own pace. If you're like me and you crave a bit more structure, then Cozy Grove is also for you, especially with the campaign. Just bear in mind that it's not all given to you at once, but rather in small increments. I give it a 7 out of 10, which is nothing to sneeze at, but there's definitely room for improvement. I'll let you know here if there are any improvements, because as I mentioned before, the developers are really great about that. Thanks for joining me gamers, I've been Dolph for Need to Know, like, comment, subscribe, stay in the know. Bye.